Tens of thousands chant, goodbye, President Paul Bia. Kamto is coming. And here he is. Cameroon's opposition leader Maurice Kamto is back after spending time in the U.S. and France. He was sent to prison when he claimed victory during the last presidential elections. He's an outspoken critic of President Paul Bia, who at the age of 87 has been in power since 1982. He's doing everything in his power to massacre us so he can stay in power, but we will not give in. It's time to bring an end to hatred, violence and war, and to turn a page for peace. With a million displaced and more than 3,000 killed since 2016, human rights groups blame both armed separatists and security forces for the violence and displacement of people in the English-speaking regions of Cameroon. Human Rights Watch believes the Rapid Intervention Battalion, backed by ethnic Fulani militias, are behind the latest attack. The elite force trained and managed by former Israeli Navy commandos shot 13 children, then burned their homes with their parents and children inside. The government first called it collateral damage, then denied being involved. The killings were deliberate and were aimed at punishing the population suspected of harboring and collaborating with the separatists. While France may be Cameroon's closest ally, the relationship is changing because of this violence. On Sunday, Cameroonian political refugee in France stopped President Emmanuel Macron to ask him about the situation in the country. The French president admitted to putting pressure on President Bia. We are seeing that the situation is deteriorating and I will call him so that the intolerable situation ceases. The governing party has just won the majority of the seats in local elections, boycotted by the opposition. The government says it's working for unity and peace. But there is mounting opposition, both from abroad and in the country, defying Bia's 36-year-long rule over Cameroon. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.